Hey guys, how's it going? Nazar here, or Naz. You're watching Nostalgic Reviews. Um, let's get into this really quick. Uh, so I have these two things here. I got these from Whatnot. In mean, check out the Mustang Queen on Whatnot. Um, this is the second time that I pulled a chase, a Kaido House chase, from one of their uh, case breaks. Uh, what a case break is, let me open this as I talk to you, if you're new. Remember guys, some of you might know, but uh, some of you might not. Not everybody uh, is experienced with this. So uh, a case break is when on whatnot, on the auction site, uh, what they do is they'll buy a brand new case and uh, they'll dump it out in front of you like this, the whole thing. And they will put numbers on them, like there's 11, there's 24, and uh, I forget how many, there's like 30 or whatever uh, cars in a case of Kaido House. And uh, what they do is, by the way, this is how I open it, I leave a little flap. That way when I put this back in, I, put, I fold the flap under and it closes it down, which uh, you'll see in the end, <laughs> which makes it... Uh, close nicely so anyway um and yeah so then they turn on their little uh counter for people to bid on and when you win uh when you win your lot you pick a number and uh, that's your number and then they keep going until they sell every single car in that case and uh it's that simple and uh one of them's a chase um they don't take the chase out that's why they open it in front of you and uh at the end um you know once they sell everything they will uh, go through each one, open it up in front of the camera until they find the chase. And whoever pulled the number with the chase in it gets the chase. <laughs> so sometimes you can get these for like as low as 15 bucks. If, no, if not too many people are bidding, you can get these for like very good price, you know, and it might even be a chase. But uh, anyway, as you can see, I uh, bid on two of them. And uh, this one I'm opening myself. Let's put the flap under there. That's what I meant. Flap that under. <laughs> flap it under. There you go. There's the uh, the blue. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting. Me too. People always struggle with these. This is how you open it. Flip it upside down. Take it out. Take the box away. Flip this again. Take that off. There you go. There's your uh, there's your car. Oh man, this is a beautiful sky. By the way, I didn't show this box. Uh, there you go, skyline. This is the R33. Did I show this part? There you go, Nissan Skyline GTR R33 Kaido Works version two, number eighty nine. Uh, designed in Los Angeles by June Mai. Little known fact to a lot of you who are new to collecting diecast, June Mai designed cars for Hot Wheels as well. And when he left Hot Wheels, he started Kaido House and he started to collaborate with Mini GT. That was a few years ago. It's 2024 as of making this video. And uh, yeah, I actually followed him from the very beginning. Used to watch his little YouTube channel where he was so excited about this Kaido House project and he was designing, designing the 510s. Ooh, this is like nice and heavy, man. Wow. I mean, they all are, but this is like dense density. So here we go. I'll move slower so it stays in focus. So there you go. Um, Come on, come on you, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's the uh, the magic under the hood, here we go. I think we can bump this up a little bit now, there we go. Get a little bit closer, there. So as you can see, the detail is insanely immaculate, man. You got red, you got chrome, you got silver, black, you got a little bit of carbon fiber detail under there, little yellow labels for things, you know, little uh, warning labels and everything. 
This one's actually a lot more detailed than some of the other ones. Got the Gretti uh, logo, translucent clear uh, headlights. Beautiful like metallic blue paint. Kaido house and graffiti style. There you go, Skyline, KDO R33, Mini GT, Skyline, GTR, KW, rubber tile tires, deep, deep dish wheels. Fantastic man. Well carbon fiber accent there, carbon fiber dash. It's actually like textury. Nice. All right, so this is the uh, R33, and to be honest with you, when I was uh, bidding on these on the auction, um, I just wanted I wanted this. So I was like, man, even if I don't win the you know the chase, it's okay because I want this in my collection. I collect Kaido House. I like I said, I have been collecting since the very beginning. Um, I have the original number one green. I'm actually trying to get the purple again because the purple one that I ordered originally uh, had defects on it. So I ended up having one of my uh, friends customize that one into something amazing. <sighs> I've shown that off before. So, all right. So, okay. Now uh, let's have a look at the, um, the chase. I'm sure that's uh, what a lot of you want to see. So we will do that right now. Let's actually get that out of the way there. Okay, so that's why this one's already uh, opened, because uh, Lana opened it up. Um, but yeah, I was like beside myself, man, when she opened this up and like, you know, they opened this up and then they like show to the camera. And it's like, oh, <laughs> as you can see, it is bare metal. It's raw. Oh, baby, I like it raw. Okay, so remember guys, flip it upside down gently. It's like it just takes a little wiggle. Like, oh, there you go. Pops out. Get rid of the box. Flip it upside down again. Put it down. It just, it's that simple. I just see people struggle on in review videos and on whatnot. Just like, uh, pulling on it. Just slow. Take it easy, man. <sighs> Alright, so. This is my first time looking at this. I did not uh, look at this um, before the video. I've actually been very patient because I wanted to make sure that I film it because this is beautiful, man. <laughs> it almost doesn't look like it's raw. It just looks, it almost looks like it's gray. It's because they, um... Yeah, it's not like polished to uh, mirror finish. It's just, um, it's like brushed aluminum almost. That's the look. So, there you go. Same thing on the inside there. All right, let's uh, slow it down there, show you the ropes. Beautiful taillights, translucent red. That's so cool, man. So there you go, uh, side by side. The regular and the chase. Oh, let's do that. There we go. Both look amazing, but you gotta admit that chase. Look at that. Honestly, they should make these uh, in silver. Like, stop making all these bombastic colors. This looks amazing in just silver or gray. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe I got a chase of that. Just so happy with it. <laughs> There you go. Work. Wait, does it say? Ah. 
Let's zoom in a little bit. Come on. So have a look, see here. It doesn't say skyline on the uh, raw. Oh no, it does. It does. I just didn't see it. It's very faint right there. It's just the same color gray. <laughs> Alright. I thought I discovered something. <laughs> Sorry, Nas. Shut down. So there you go, fellas and ladies. There's your chase. R33 Kaido House. Uh, number 89. Again, shout out to the Mustang Queen. My second chase on a on my second case break so check her out check out the auction site there and uh, have fun so cool <laughs> all right Whew. that's just awesome all right cool uh, I'm done guys thank you so much for watching uh, this has just been a little bit of an unboxing and review of uh, me being happy finding finding the chase for my collection. I don't resell any of this. Uh, this is mine. That's it. Cool. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace and love.